The traditional handing over of the command flag is the symbolic and formal transfer of authority from the outgone Chief of Defence Staff to the newly appointed Chief of Defence Staff. In his parting words, the former CDS, Lieutenant General Retired Sule Ibrahim Sisse, affirmed that most of his batch members described themselves unlucky to be recruited in the army in 1991 when the civil war started as they were deployed to the battlefield shortly after their training, but now grateful because he never dreamt of achieving the peak of a lieutenant general. The 1991 batch is the luckiest batch because my predecessor was 91 batch. I am 91 batch. And here we are today to also hand over to a 91 batch. As I leave the armed forces, I'm immensely proud of what we were able to accomplish together in my two years as Chief of Defense Staff. I will not bother you with a long list of achievements, but they are there for posterity to look at and judge. But there is still more work to be done and room for improvement. And I have no doubt that the incoming CDS will move the ISLA forward in terms of institutional development in spite of many challenges in the arts of command. It is only you, the ISLA, who can sustain the peace of this nation. And therefore, wherever you are, whatever you do, and wherever you go, your key objective must be to sustain the peace and tranquility as your pride and dignity. On that note, I therefore call upon all of you, the Republic of Foreign Armed Forces, to remain professional, apolitical, and elevate with pride and dignity the cherished values of the Republic of Southern Armed Forces through your strength, courage, unity, and dedication to duty. Whilst bidding farewell to the former Chief of Defence Staff, the Deputy Minister of Defence, Colonel Retired Moana Masakoi, clarified that changes in the RSLAF's leadership is a routine administrative practice governed by regimental policies, procedures and the powers of the Constitution to keep the force alive. He cautioned the newly appointed Chief of Defence Staff to be dedicated to his duty in defending the territorial integrity of the state upholding peace and stability. For the incoming Chief of Defense Staff and the Commander Joint Force, I am aware that I need not remind you that the responsibilities you have assumed are enormous, especially when it involves leading men and women carrying arms who perpetually look up to you for impeccable leadership in a diverse range of parameters. A special level of personal sacrifice is highly required to attain such lofty goals in our current environment where we are confronted with too much intolerance. You happen to continue to serve in a noble institution where Sierra Leone indeed comes first. You are assuming your respective offices at a critical time in the history of the Arts Lab, when the country is facing serious economic challenges. The Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Peter Kaku Lavahun, is highly gratified for the calling and recognizes that the robe of responsibility he now assumes needs utmost dedication in order to leave an admirable legacy. While being aware of the daunting responsibility of my appointment as Chief of Defense Staff, I want to reassure all present here that the ASLAF shall remain a democratic, accountable armed forces, loyal to His Excellency the President and Commander in Chief, and to the government and people of Sierra Leone. We will continue to carry out our constitutional duties as enshrined in our defense missions and military tasks. This we will carry with almost sense of commitment as obliged by our oath of allegiance. Our contribution as a force 
to ensuring and sustaining peace, stability, and nation building will be delivered at all times to the people of this country. I want to thank the Rassise, retired for his time in Lashi of the ASLAF, and for his dedicated contribution over the past 30 years of national service. Sir, I thank you for your leadership. We came, and all of us will go one day. And as general ranking officers, we are in the exit rank. So, we are behind you. The end of one leadership to the beginning of another reign in the Earth's life. In recognition of his honorable service, the ex-CDS received gifts from the Chief of Defense Staff, Deputy Minister of Defense, and the Officers' Wives Association. An emotional moment for the former Chief of Defense Staff as he is now being pulled out slowly to mark the end of his authority out of the military headquarters here in Freetown. Salifu Charunakamara, AYV News.